All right, so Ken, Ken Leach, this is your hemp house. Yes. So you, when did this uh, get built? Um, last year. Last year? Yeah. Okay. Well, last year's finished, started the year before. Okay. Uh, and um, so tell me, tell us, lead us a little bit through what you had to go through and, and uh, where you're at now. Well, we started with the, the concrete pad. Yeah. We have uh, two roundhouses. Yeah. Joined in the centre with a uh, um, <laughs> breezeway, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, we have. Uh, the, the two roundhouses uh, came <laughs> with the, uh, uh, the frames that just needed to be all fitted together. Okay. The same with the, the roof. Hmm. They were all fitted together. And because it's round, uh, there's no centre pole. So uh, there's a cable going around just under the eave uh, to... Uh, Hold the uh, the roof up. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, the windows, aluminium outside, double glazed, and timber on the inside. So it's thermally broken. Hmm. Uh, heat and cold doesn't pass through. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, we got the uh, the. Um, the framework, the wall framework, has been uh, embedded with uh, hempcrete. It was formwork uh, taking the uh, packing the uh, the hemp in formwork, going up 600 mils at a time. So um, uh, we have we have our house. Yeah, it's a, it's a great house. It's got lots of great features, and it's quite uh, quite soundproof, and also, uh, as you say, it's uh, uh, warm when you want it to be and cold when you want it to be. Yeah. Well, uh, does it? I call it comfortable. Yeah, and, and and you said it maintains somewhat of a constant temperature without, because I did I didn't even we didn't even have the heaters on or anything. It was kind of cold out last night, but. Yes, uh, the other day it was. Uh, zero outside, 12 degrees inside. Yeah, so it's sort of, and it keeps sort of that 12 degrees, maybe up to 15 or something like that. Is yeah. that so? Yeah. It's just a constant temperature. Yep. Yeah. And do you do you f ever feel the need to put? I mean, do you put the heat on much at all, or or? In winter, yes. Yeah. Uh, the fire is a lot. Is like yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, it does get co cold. Yeah. Uh, so the fire does come in handy. But your your power bills are pretty, the utility bills are pretty low, generally speaking. Uh, I guess you'd say uh, petrol for the generator mm. is about the only uh, um, expense. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, so tell us a little bit more about this. Uh, the you said this is uh, rendered. You yeah. said rendered, rendered, uh, rendered with uh, hemp lime render. Right, and that has a great feature. You were saying. Yeah, the, the well, one of the greatest features is because it uh, uses lime. Um, uh, any uh, timber in the um, wall construction. It turns cementous, so it uh, is fire. Uh, well, fireproof. Fireproof. It doesn't mm. burn. Yeah, it's a great yeah. feature when you live in a country prone to bushfires. Yeah, um, I have to say, this this area isn't prone, but in the event. <laughs> in the event, uh, yeah. the last known fire to go through here was about 80 years ago. Okay. Uh, oh well. Well, that could all change, I suppose. It could do. Yeah, but it's good that you don't have a lot of trees near your house, so that doesn't that doesn't. Yeah, it's uh, another great feature. Yeah. 
Well, you still have quite a few trees on your property. Ah, yes. Shall, plenty more. Yes, and yeah. shall we? Uh, let's. Shall we go and take a look on the inside and see what yeah. uh, other great features are happening? So all of this uh, rent, all of this rendered area is all hemp, right? This is all hemp. Yeah. Hemp lime uh, render. Yep. Yep. Happy stay. Good job. What we have for the ceiling is uh, radiator ply uh, uh, ceiling. Yeah. With a capola. Uh, that's the capola is to exhaust uh, foul air. Hmm. There is a tiny slot uh, on top of the, the glass. Hmm. Uh, the uh, finish on the uh, the ply is uh, E-Colors uh, Polyclear. Uh, it's a polyurethane, but it's uh, water-based yeah. and it has no VOCs, mm -hmm. volatile organic compounds. That's great, yeah. Uh, and all the timber is finished with that, mm. except for the, the kitchen cupboards. Yes. And that's Livos. Um, Genos, mm. a waterproof uh, uh, series of oils. Yes, and you said, uh, and you also have some other uh, interesting features here. You have this... Um, the, the timber slab, or uh, uh, bench tops are um, uh, river red gum. River red gum, yeah. yeah. So it's Australian um, timber. Australian timber. Yeah. Um, well, it was harvested uh, years ago. Many years ago. Yeah. And um, but um, yeah, as far as I understand, it's sustainable. The mm. tree does grow. Yeah. Um, the floor is cork. Mm. Uh, it comes from Portugal, and because the the, the bark is uh, the, with the tree, they take the bark off every nine years, and after which after which the, the bark regrows. So it's sustainable. Mm. Great. Yeah. Let's uh, and then tell me tell me the story about the. These, because uh, we can actually see the hemp, hempcrete walls quite, uh, quite clearly here. Well, it's, um, as I say, um, packed down in formwork, mm. hence the different colours, mm. uh, uh, just the variation in uh, the mixture at mm. times. Um, very, but it's. Hard. Mm. It's like I'm not going to fall down anytime soon. Which is good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I think, in terms of uh, in terms of the structure, but we'll take a, let's take a look a little bit more at the uh, how it's all joined together. Right. This is that breezeway. Yeah. Yeah. Which goes into the other uh, to the other room. The bedroom. Yeah, the bedroom. Which has been in the living room. Yeah. Uh, and we'll. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, great. Yeah. And here we are. Yep. Um, hallway. Um, walk in robe. Mm. Yep. Great. We've access to a uh, storage up above, mm. and then the bathroom. Yeah. yeah. Let's have a quick. Won't look too deeply into the bathroom, but we'll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. The laundry's in there too. Oh yeah, You've got your laundry here. Interesting. Yeah. Right. We can pack the, the doors out of the way. Which is good. Great yeah. feature. Yeah, great. Thanks. Yeah. Um, and, I and think a dry composting toilet. Oh, yeah. 
So it's truly a sustainable home, sustainable hemp home. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Um, we, we don't take anything out and we don't bring anything in except food. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> great. Um, you were saying something also about the render, so something else about the render on the inside. I think you're saying something about basalt or something like that. Was there? Uh, or... In the um, in between the, the window frames, we used um, uh, the uh, the local soil mm. um, to because uh, the the hemp uh, creek just couldn't. Um, um, uh, contain itself. It was just uh, too narrow, mm. uh, and the uh, the basalt soil mixed with the lime and sand just made it uh, more solid. All right, and uh, they were able to, able to render over that. That's great. All right. Yep. All right. Well, we'll. Take one more look at it and we'll finish off our little mini doco or mini hemp, sustainable hemp building doco. Oh, I see you also have a, that's your heat pump, isn't it? Yeah, that's the hot water for the, just for the bathroom. Oh, yeah. I have a, a 10 liter uh, under the sink uh, hot water for the, the kitchen. Okay. Great. That's, that's it. Or, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. All right. All right.